Welcome to South Korea, where you DIY your barbecue. Rip a slice of lettuce with a pork belly morsel dipped in condiments. As delicious as this looks, barbecuing wasn't always so popular in South Korea. Meat consumption in South Korea grew in tandem with economic growth. From 1970 to 2015, South Korean GDP per capita grew almost 100 times. During the same period, meat consumption also increased almost 10 times. With recent experiences of poverty and war, many South Koreans associated meat eating with abundance and wealth. They would eat any kind of meat they could afford. Previously, they boiled meat to make soup to maximize its use. With more meat to eat, South Koreans started grilling more often. But how did Korean barbecue come to be defined by pork belly, samgyeopsal in Korean? In fact, South Koreans eat a lot of pork. In 2016, half of meat consumed was pork. In the past, Koreans preferred beef over pork. The predilection dates back to Joseon Dynasty. Even in the early 70s, eating pork was associated with graying hair or lethal parasitic infestation. So what changed all this? Price and availability, most likely. So one theory goes, South Korea's hawk industry grew massively around Busan in the 70s to meet the demand from Japan. Because Japanese preferred lean meat, greasy pork belly was notably left out. Another theory is, South Korea's rapid urbanization gave way to an increase in pork consumption. During the urban development in the 70s, poor rural migrants who moved to Seoul started grilling pork especially the parts that were thrown out, such as pork belly, skin, and skirt meat. So South Korea started marinating in soy sauce, cooking with gochujang, or making a bite-sized lettuce wrap with white rice, garlic cloves, and sauce. The rise of pork belly in South Korea cannot be talked about without mentioning soju, South Korea's unofficial national drink. From the early 80s, it was common to pair samgyeopsal with soju shots to balance out the greasiness of the meat be it in cramped alleyways in Seoul or on mountaintops. If the advent of pork belly had to do with South Korea's expert industry and urbanization, it was the 1997 Asian financial crisis that Samgyeopsa became the king of Korean barbecue. Due to its affordability, financially struggling families and companies started dining out at cheap pork belly joints instead of more expensive beef barbecue restaurants. And some families would just grill at home on those portable butane gas burners that became available. Today, pork belly is more than just a cheap option. Well, because it's not that cheap anymore because of high demand. In 2015, 350,000 tons of pork was imported to South Korea despite increasing domestic supply. 40% of imported pork, you guessed it, was samgyeopsal. 